And if you had blooms turned on, that would be a really fat bloom on the end too. So opening this file would be reading in loads of index and loads of bloom. It could take a while before the, um, the file came online. So what's V2 do? V2, V2 breaks up the index and breaks up the blooms into little chunks and then it, uh, sprinkles them out throughout the file. So the index is about the amount of data, about the data that follows. And these, um, these indices could be tiered, so there's actually multiple layers of um, index. So startup times are fast. And also, the, the, oh, sorry, yeah, uh, this is how I can kind of give you a bit of a picture here on how things used to look. So V1 up here, you can see like, you have these little dialog blocks, dialog blocks, and you have a bunch of melee info on the end. Um, And now it's, 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 it's pretty similar, except that we have, um, you know, you can see that we have the indices and, and the load, the load pieces of the load interspersed in, in, in amongst the data. Here's your general notion of what it looks like. What's, what's V2 uh, allow us to do? It allows us to go really big on the files, like tens of gigs. And then the other good thing is, like, if the file is cold, it's not being read or being used, the, uh, the blooms and the indices for that file are actually uh, LRU'd out because now they live in the LRU. So um, whereas before they were like permanently pinned in memory, so if you're using memory, you know you weren't reading from the file, weren't actually using the file. And so um, the end result is that um, we, you know, we, 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 we like to have few. We like to when you know H base installs, we like to have um, fewer, but like bigger regions. We can do that now. Um, this is kind of like um, something we learned from Facebook. Uh, they kept telling us that we should do it this way, but it took us a while to like, cotton on. Um, wall splitting in, in, in earlier versions of HBase, the, um, the, 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 the right ahead log splitting was done by the, the master process. It was multi threaded, but it was like a single process taking care of splitting all the logs. There could be lots of logs, say, if, uh, a couple of region servers crashed at the same time. And, 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 and regions are offline while um, this splitting process is going on. So in 92, this, the, the work of splitting the logs is farmed out across the cluster. All the region servers will you know, take on a log and do the splitting. Uh, do one, you know, one split themselves. There's all zookeeper mediated. And in the end, um, so this, this whole process runs faster because there's more, more workers involved. Regions are offline for, for, for shorter periods of time. <clears throat> um, this feature came about because I think one of the lads at Facebook went and talked to my SQL admin and said, what do you need to make, uh, make it easier to, to run HBase? And they talked about uh, my SQL processes. So now in HBase 92, if you look at the, the master or the region server UI, you can see like a listing of uh, all that's going on in your cluster. You can see, um, you know, compactions, flushes, or if there's queries that are taking a long time, they'll, they'll show, actually show up in the process list. And another aspect of this is like if, if queries on, are running for a long time, if they're, like, if they're slow, they'll actually get dumped into the log and you can actually log them, you can have to redirect the slow query log elsewhere, so maybe do alerting or something, keep an eye on these, um, when the stuff is taking longer. And it's, you can ask for it to, um, in, in the log, it's, um, it's JSONized with all the context so that you can try and figure out why something was taking a long time. This is basically how it looks. Um, you know, you see a list of things that are going on in the cluster. Um, there's no actual slow queries in this uh, example listing I have here. You know, you can see um, we're currently doing a flush and a compaction on, on the cluster. This is the master view. So it's an aggregate of all that's going on up in the cluster. Um, code processors, code processors a nice fat feature developed by the Trend Micro for, for folks. Um, you can put, yes, for developers, but you can put your custom code beside the actual data, running inside in the uh, region server context. And one way of thinking of like triggers in your own database world, or current models, you know, custom code you can load. 
there's, um, there's basically two types. There's a, like an, a, an observer type. So you can, um, you know, over on a server, a get or a put, you can, you can do it as a pre-get and a, a, a post-get uh, call. So the code processor can, like, you know, notice or act on, uh, on, on a get or any of these, uh, any of the general API put, scan, whatever. But you can also get your fingers in on, um, on uh, 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 in, into the server's guts, like you know, uh, when you're doing things like uh, alter table, you can you get pre and post on that. But even like when you're doing compaction and you're reading, you know, you're reading uh, uh, page files, um, you can actually alter like what gets compacted out, what the, what the result of the compaction is. The second type is um, you can actually design your own API, so you know. The distributed stuff and the data management, that's all that's all done for you and you just figure out what kind of a way you want to talk to the server. Um, so you just come up with your own API. Code processes are chainable, so um, you know you can you can you can have you know one fire and then you know you have, you have like a bunch of them fire um, in a particular order. And in particular, um, HBase, you know, we we um, we pulled up um, Hadoop security up into HBase, um, and, and security itself is done as a, as a co-processor. So you can imagine putting the security co-processor at the at the start of the chain. You get access or you don't. You have a couple of experimental features. You know, there's the off heat off heat caching. You know, using direct byte buffers, so you can do. Um, you can uh, have this work with um, the in-memory uh, lock, lock cache. So you know you'll, you'll, you'll cache something in the off heap, and then if it's hot, it comes in. Or you'll come in process into the um, internal lock cache. It's experimental. Um, needs a bit of work, but it, it, it basically works at the moment. And then you can do like, things like an on online uh, table schema edit. Miscellaneous, bunch of bunch of miscellaneous stuff like, look like like a servlet which dumps out everything that uh, the total context on a region server is good for like you know if you're trying to get help from somebody you can ship them this and they'll have an idea it's like a thread dumps and like, what the memory was like. Um, HBase 92 deals against uh, Hadoop 20, 22, 23. Um, should it should uh, it runs against these. Um, a document, we have somebody working on documentation, he, he's an angel, he, he, he appeared out of nowhere. Um, and our documentation is way improved because of him, uh, Doug Neal. Um, things like snappy support, there's a bunch of asset fixes, so you know, in HBase, um, updates on a row are asset, so if, even if your row is really wide, um, you either see the update or you don't, um, there are some holes in there, a bunch that's been fixed. And then, like we have a fix-up tool, HBCK is a bunch of work being done on that. Uh, HBase 92 and, and, and Hadoop 1.0 is like a match made in heaven. Um, you know, we've got sync support in, a, in an official uh, Hadoop Apache release. Right? Um, in, in Hadoop 1.0, like HDFS is like is, is faster, noticeably faster. Um, and then there's also the um, the cookie, you know, the, the thing to make the the the, the, the modern HBase fellas happy. It's this this go local feature. You if if the block is is if, if the block you want uh, is local to the, the data node, you avoid going around the DFS client and you just read it straight off the file system. And this makes for um, big big big. Big improvements in like uh, HBase's um, random read uh, abilities. You know, like two, three x more. Even. <coughs> you know, it depends on your, your, uh, how much is in cache in the file system cache. So all this stuff is in um, CDHU3 as well. Um, that's 92. 94, 94, 94 is not going to be here. Uh, 94 is going to be. We're going to cut branch it at the end of February. I think we're going to have a theme, a performance theme. There's some really nice stuff going on. Um, Facebook lads are working on like prefix compression, and so we'll be able to have like uh, 
you pull the block out of the HDFS, compressed, and actually stay compressed while it's in memory. You can actually look at it while it's compressed. And so that we're talking about like, you know, maybe um, caching maybe two, twice as much as we do now, maybe even more. Um, so kind of performance theme for 94, but also um, I think the other theme for 94 is page-based releases, there, there won't be as long in between. Uh, that'll be the other theme, I think. We, we want to push them out more often. Um, just, uh, you know, just to give you a sense of where the project's at, I'll just give some, um, I'll talk about what, uh, what we're working on at the moment, I suppose, what our near-term challenges. I'll just give a, here's a list of some things, I'll just say a few words. Uh, testing, testing the distributed system is hard. Um, HBase is actually in love with the big top project that uh, was just presented. Um, you know, the people like Roman show up on our list and go, hey, your thing is broken with uh, XYZ. It's, um, we love it. Um, and we need to, we need to contribute that. But it's a big problem. How do you validate a, a HBase release with, you know, against all the different versions of Hadoop and, all the different moving pieces. Um, we, we, we have our work cut out for us. Um, in 92, our unit test suite, um, we, we're pretty good at writing unit tests, but they were two hours, it takes two hours to complete, and you know, the odd one might be a bit flaky, and you know, um, it might fail. And, and they were growing, they were growing at, they were growing at a pretty uh, good clip. Um, so this, 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 this problem alone threat, uh, uh, threat, you know, threatens to um, overwhelm like, you know, anything else we do. We'd be spending all our time making sure we just waiting for unit tests uh, to complete before we can commit any patches or anything. We only one the lad spend a, a bunch of time on the main Surefire and he made the parallelization work. And now, um, now, now we can, it depends on how many threads you run, but now, now you can get the test in like 30 minutes or even less. Um, I'm not sure if Apache infrastructure has figured out um, who's soaking up all their CPU yet, but um, um, we might get a call soon, sometime soon. Um, that's a hard one. Uh, so our, then our RPC story. We, we, our, RPC, our RPC is um, Hadoop's RPC. Um, and as you probably all know, it's version. So, and up to this, it's been fine. Um, I mean, it's been understood that like when you go between major versions of Hadoop, then um, then you know all clients can't talk to the new stuff. And that might be fine, and um, might be all, I suppose it's not tolerable really anywhere. But like uh, on, in a batch system, it might be sort of tolerable. But in a system that's trying to do online serving, it's, uh, it's 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 just not on at all. This is, so, so we have a problem here. That we um, it's been kind of we need to address. Um, how do you, you know how do the old clients talk to the new stuff? But we also like you know we also like to do like things like multi-tenant and quality of service. Maybe like how do, how does that work? Can, can we can we get can we push that? We have to, you know it's one thing one thing doing like quality of service up in uh, HBase tier. What about like you know maybe you should go down to HDFS itself? Isn't it? So that it gives different kinds of responses depending on the who's out, who's, who's, who's doing the querying. So um, looks like we're going to uh, 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 attack the RPC uh, head on. Looks like there's a bunch of us get, uh, got together as a proposal. I think we're going to stick on Hadoop RPC for the moment, but uh, looks like we're going to go all protobufs all the time. Uh, we're going to change the way the RPC headers uh, are done. They'll be done. They'll be described in protocol, so it should be like a uh, future upgrade. We should be able to upgrade them or add extra headers um, in, a, in, in a compatible way as we go up to the versions. But also, we want to, we want to do um, everywhere HBase serializes, we want, to, we want to ensure that it's all versions. So even into catalog tables or even when we make marks in uh, Zookeeper, all of it version so that we can, you know, so that you know, all stuff can see like the, all stuff will still work even though it's going against uh, newer versions of HBase. Um, operability, we need to make the OSPELs uh, happier. Um, 
things like on, on my configuration, we have some of the schema, online schema changes, we have some of that now. But it would be nice to do things like, you know, be able to change like basic, um, you know, like say maybe the block cache size what, on a running cluster instead of at the moment, like you have to like do kind of a rolling restart after you change your configuration. Trying to make it less that you have to be kind of a superman to, to, to run an HBase cluster. And we're still working on the stability and the reliability and stuff. So, so the ops fellows are just terribly happy. Usability, yes, yeah, this is where we need help. It's funny, it's just, it seems like it's not a focus for us. I suppose we're, you know, we're used to the pain and we, we, we don't have anything else. But uh, we get dinged on this all the time. HBase is hard to use. Um, um, yeah, if anyone wants to help out here, um, it'd be really great. Um, I'm not sure if anyone's actually working on this at the moment. Um, oh yeah, H spacers. There's not enough of them. It seems like there's, there, there, you know um, people are looking for them all over the place, but there's, there, all the ones that are known all seem to be gamefully and strategically employed. You don't want to shift them from where they are. Um, <coughs> If you're interested in HBase at all, um, I know, come talk to me and like, let's help get you onboarded or, you know, get you a job even if you want. Or, you know. um, yeah, this is a problem that we need to address. Um, that's it, I'd say. Any questions? It is a the coprocessor based security suite going to obsolete Accumulo? Um, no, I think. What's Accumulo? What's going to happen? Can you repeat the question, maybe? Yeah. Repeat the question, please. So, uh, the question is a coprocessor based uh, uh, security. Uh, will that obsolete the, uh, 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 another Apache project called Accumulo, which is also a big table clone? And um, I think the answer is, um, I don't think so. I think they have, um, they, have this, they have a very interesting model where each cell is actually, has, has, has a particular security. Um, I think, the, I think the, the access control, the access, how the access control is done as well, is it all out in the open, it's not actually secure, but if it's all behind some firewall, then I think, I think it works. Um, we don't have that yet. Maybe if we did cell level um, access, then um, then maybe you could talk about one versus the other. But the, the Cumulo seems like a really healthy project, and there's a lot of people working on it. Um, it would be nice if two projects came together, but they have very different provenance, and they have uh, different users, and they um, I think the, the cross cuts are in different places. I think there would be a a big job to put them together. But then, um, you know, we've talked to the fellows, the fellows and the ladies. You know, <laughs> big, big yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I think um, the Cumulo is, is working hard to, you know, get going in Apache and, and we're working hard on bugs. And, okay. Thank you.